Hello, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this is Celebrity Presage by Brett Barry and Mike Mayone. But first, this. Yep, again, I would like you to like and subscribe. If you haven't done it yet, you must. Pop your uh, little clicker, the clicker? <laughs> clicker? Put your mouse, put your cursor on the, uh, on the little, little bell down there and, and then you'll get all my notifications. God, that went on for a bit, didn't it? And, uh, and also, please um, share it. Go on then. God, all over the place today. Just every time I get a new subscriber, it does, it does make me feel happy because I'm spending quite a lot of time doing this, which is not a complaint, I love it. Uh, and it's good, because I get to, get to play with th things like this and take them out and perform them. So I did take this out. Uh, this is, oh, uh, check out cardmagiccourse.com as well, please. Um, that'd be great. So this is uh, another book test, right? And there is part of me, it's almost like, you know, I'm a, I love card, card magic, but every time a new card trick comes out, part of me goes, do, do we need any more? Um, and Brett sent this to me, Brett Barry, and I could tell he was really proud of it because Brett's someone that is very enthusiastic about his products, and that's what you want, isn't it? You want someone that goes, I've got this film, really proud of it. Can I send you one? Because I think you'll like it. And and that's good because then you kind of think, well, it's got to be all right. Cause you, it, so it, and, and you've got it, and it is, it is really good. Why it's really good, I'll go into in a minute. So what does it do, first of all? And you might have seen the trailer of this. It got released at Magic Live, uh, I think. It does book book test stuff, but it has this one thing which I've kind of talked about a little bit on one of the other reviews, the um, silent edition. It's, I mean, it's different. It's a different thing, but it uses the same same um, same page numbering system, which which is really really good and good because not because it's clever because it is clever, but also how it feels to perform. So the main thing about this, what it does first of all, it it, it does the usual book test stuff, which is a prediction or whatever, however you want to sell it, which mind reading. And it, and I will say that the PDF you get with this and the video it goes into loads of depth. And Brett is very good at talking you through. He's, he's good at also crediting as well. We're going to, so he talks you through everything, gives you loads of detail. There's a great Facebook page. Everybody's coming up with ideas. So you really do, I think you get a lot of value out of this. And, and I like that. I like the, the, the effort he puts in. So it's a Sven pad. So for those of you that know the Sven Gali principle, that's in there and that's very important. So you're basically, you know, you open it anywhere and they can open this. If, you, if you've got the audience management, you say to flip through, open it, and you know where they're gonna land. Um, the book is Celebrity Fails. So it looks like one of those quirky books you get at airports. I had a thing when I performed it. I said, I've got, I bought this book for my daughter because she likes celebrities. I obviously haven't read it. Um, and it, yeah, people with kids kind of get it, but I don't know why I'm telling you that. It's not a great bit of um, scripting, is it? But the, pro the point is that you can, you can justify this a lot. It's kind of a book that makes people smile. And the great thing is you can show them it. You go, look, there's Kanye West, there's Bill Clinton, and then you can read little little tips out of it. And the brilliant thing is you can show them the page numbers. Now, you can do this in many ways. You can say, look, are the page numbers normal? Because I think that's fine because you're doing a trick and they might think something's dodgy about, something dodgy about, something is dodgy about the book. But also, with this PPNS, which you got to be careful how I say that, uh, don't say it too quickly, you can get them to name a page number. So they go, oh, any page number, page 21, all right. Actually, you name one, and I'm not gonna influence you, I'm gonna influence you, but just so you know nothing's dodgy, you name a page number, and they go 86, and you show them 86, and there's, I don't know, Ivana Trump or someone on there, and then you go to their page, and you have you know what it's gonna land on. Which is very powerful. When I first got this, I didn't realize how powerful. It feels very free. And of course, I mean, I do book tests where there's a lot of this going on and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And there's a lot of me handling stuff, but there's something about the freedom of handling. They're, they're choosing a page number and you're giving them a chance to swap. You're comparing it to a page number that you're not gonna use. You can have three people choose the page number and then they decide which one you go for. There's so much to do with this. And what I liked about it when I performed this, and that's why I'm glad I performed these things so I wouldn't have thought about it, is that I just walked up and I had it in my hand and there was all this real freedom and then, you know, if they say page 21, you're literally showing them the pages leading up to page 21 and then showing them page 21. And that's the, it, it's really strong, that. And book tests are really strong anyway. 
so that to me is the is the real beauty of this and it fe and it's and if you know about this fan pad stuff it it feels really solid it's not gonna i mean this is gonna last you it's gonna last you a long time it does other stuff as well it does um a lot of the usual book test stuff it does the mother of all book test stuff test stuff so when they do have that page that they've landed on when you've got the page number or, or if you just want to do it with a fen pad you know you can get them just to open it up you can then say okay look at a big word on there maybe eight letters or more and you can do the mother of all book test so that in itself without the other thing is a brilliant thing which i do on stage just that and it gets a stunning reaction so you've got two incredibly strong things there and you've got I'm not going to go into into every other thing but what I will tell you is that because it does loads of stuff what every other book test does but it's got this um this gimmick so you you go like that and you can also you can put the bookmark in there show them it and that's another thing you're going to know now when I first saw this I almost dismissed it a bit because I was like no the other stuff but then if you've got a table you've got then you've got three predictions and you've got a drawing duplication and you've got this other so you've got so much freedom with this book to to really get a, a lot of time out of it and you've got and i did this at a table in close up which i feel weird about doing with book tests sometimes and it just got a really nice reaction i really enjoyed it uh, i get nervous when i do tricks for the first time and, and within two minutes of doing this the nerves went because i, I kind of it's really easy it's not going to be hard and and the mother of all book test thing you're going to have to remember nine words so again i've said this before if you can't remember nine words there's issues but if you really can't remember nine words there's a crib so but i think you'll be all right so i haven't really got anything negative to say about this because brett barry and all the people involved in this know their stuff just briefly and i'm sorry if i miss anybody out it, it's it, it's not it's mike mayoni came up with the idea independently uh and apparently so did spidey i might get this wrong so please don't quote me spidey came up with the, the idea of this numbering thing which apparently mike, mike mayoni had done at a different time uh spidey also uh shared that with with john allen who did the the silent treatment which uses a similar thing but it's not numbered but well it is numbered pages but different if you want to watch that review um steve valentine uh, this is made from an idea by steve valentine um and i think brett's the person that kind of saw it all and brought it all together and made the product obviously with a spam pad that that will use and will last us so i hope that makes sense bit of a mouthful um but um, and mark kirsten provided the words from his brilliant app wiki test which i really want to review but i've got a copy mark love a copy of that be good wouldn't it um but it's it, it's absolutely brilliant he, i've talked about his talk he did at the session before um which is great i'm not just saying that to get a copy of it even though i've just done that thing uh, so he's provided the words so if you do wiki test you can do this and you don't have to remember any more words and i'm sure there's, there's ways of mixing them up and and all that uh, but there it is brett barry and, and mike mayoni and all those other people have bought us celebrity presage and i really am i, I was so looking forward to using it i have used it i did it four or five times at the night where i filmed it the other day and that was a proper paid gig so i, I didn't want to take anything out that wasn't going to work and people really really responded to it uh so take your time with it have have fun with it and and oh and by the way one more thing you can buy more gimmicks so you can create even more predictions and my reading effects um if you use more i'm not going to tell you any more than that so it's brilliant it's great it's uh it, it's going to stay in my close-up case and and maybe bring it on stage as well so uh thank you very much it's about 100 quid uh so 115 dollars somewhere some places it's kind of varies a little bit uh, i think it's worth it get for that stage time um but you know make your own mind up from that review Please do share this if you like it. Please like and subscribe. Please comment. I love, love hearing your comments. And if I haven't got back to you, I'm really, really sorry. I do try and reply to everyone. Um, but I read all of them and I appreciate all of them very, very much. Uh, and check out carbmagiccourse.com, please. It's a brilliant course. I'm so proud of it. And it's a great way to support the channel. Take care. Have a great one. Cheers.